With the successful release of Frontier Defense and the player base praising the return of a fan favorite game mode, Respawn has stated that they're going to keep updating the base game and Frontier Defense with new maps and more. So with that being the case, why don't we focus on the elephant in the room that not many people seem to be talking about, and that is the Armory in Frontier Defense. Now the Armory in Frontier Defense only has 6 boosts that can be used by all players to help survive the waves of enemies. From my understanding and from what I've seen by the other players, the majority of them only tend to buy amp founds, turret sentry, amp battery and arc mines. While Nuke Rodeo is the only boost I've seen not be highly purchased since it's a situational boost, and the Harvester Shield boost is only useful when things get really heated. So playing on Hard, Master and Insane, this perk is a must have. Now all these boosts are exceptionally well and usable, except for maybe new Rodeo. But I was thinking, why is this boost pool so small, considering the game mode is aimed around AI difficulty? Why not add in more boosts for the player tools? So here's a few ideas of boosts that I found could be added into the game to help the player more and offer some other ways to survive. For starters, I would like to see the Smart Pistol be added into Front of Defense as a boost, with a high cost to purchase, but it's staying the same as when we use it in the campaign mission and multiplayer. I find it quite strange that the Respawn never added this into Front of Defense since the weapon works well when against AI grunts and was present in Time for 1, but that was because the weapon was a primary back then. Its cost can be around 1500 to purchase, and once it's been used up and you want to get more ammo, it'll cost around 500 credit to refill it back up again. My second boost I would like to see be added is the tip mines. These boosts are currently available in the multiplayer and campaign and are great little devices that are capable of clearing out rooms and hunting down unexpected prey for you. So it would be great to re-add them into front of defense as a bio boost for maybe 3 or 5 of them for 300 credits. Now my first boost I would like to see be added in is the ability to call down a drop pod of grunts. This would be similar to how Titan 4 Assault does it, where you can call down a group of grunts, or a pod of grunts, to take away a point and either fight back against the enemy or defend it. However, in Titan 4 Assault, they died really quickly, so you had to use them tactically. I can see the same thing being introduced into Front of Defense, where we could call down a bunch of grunts, five at least, to either follow or guard an area. They would be useful when it comes down to needing someone to protect the harvester while everyone else is going on the front lines. Plus they would be cheap to redeploy with a cost of 250 credits. And they can work hand in hand with the turret sentries for extra defense. Now the fourth booth they could simply just drop in is the AI Defender Titan. This would cost around 1500 credits and this titan would act the same as if you called down your own titan using the auto chip. Great for taking the heat wave from you and your buddies if things start to get hectic and also great against AI grunts but they're not designed to be too reliable, just something that can help protect you with extra fur protection. You would also be given a choice into which titan you want to purchase, but the titan perks on them will be random, so you won't be picking out something that is either suitable for your playstyle or, su or something that will be extremely powerful. It will be completely randomised, so you have to work with what you currently got, and you won't be able to pilot them either. So. Sadly, we won't be able to have multiple titans that we can use at our own disposal. Just use one titan for our own, and one titan to just generally protect the battlefield. As a warning, before you purchase them though, you can only buy two of them, quite similar to how you could purchase just two turrets. But, the moment you buy two of them, you won't be able to buy two turrets either. So if you want to mix match, you can buy one titan, AI titan, and then you can go ahead and buy one turret but you won't be able to do both of them at the same time, such as I can buy two titans and then buy two turrets, no you can only pick only one of the two, or you can either go with two titans or two turrets, so you're quite limited. I kind of put that thought into it because I don't really want to make it a bit too easy for the players, because frontier defense is meant to be challenging, but it shouldn't be too challenging to the point of where you can just you know, gimp everything over by using these powerful tools. It should be the point of where you, you'll be able to have a chance to fight back, but you're going to be limited down on the necessary tools that you could go ahead and use. Now my fifth idea they could add in is the Wi-Fi virus, that was first introduced in Type 1. As the name states, activating the boost will give you 5 or 10 meter radius pool that when a spectre walks into, gets affected, and switches to your side for at least 30 seconds or a minute. Once activated, the radius only lasts for around 30 seconds, so you need to be quick 
and once the boost is done on the spectres or development ends, they simply die. It would cost around 1000 credits and would allow players like you to have an extra bit of firepower. So it would be quite similar to how a AI Defender Titan and a Drop Pod Grunt would work. But as all those there basically allow you a bit more power, would allow you a bit more firepower, but they're not as powerful to the point of where they can last for all rounds. They will die eventually or they will get damaged to the point of where they won't be able to fight back. So it's only recommended that you go ahead and purchase these if you know what wave you're going to be up against and if you know that it's going to be highly required and there's not going to be credits that's going to be wasted. Now I was going to also add in Titan sentries as well and battery boost to this but when I thought about it a bit further I noticed that Titan sentries would be a bit too powerful in this game mode considering that in normal multiplayer they do a lot of damage against titans. I'm talking about they can take out half your health within a brief 30 seconds if you're not aware of where they are and if you're not paying attention to your surroundings. And they're really powerful against AI as well, just the standard troopers in the field. They can kill them within at least maybe one or two shots. So I can see them being way too reliable compared to the normal standard sentries. So I thought, nah, we'll leave them instead. Now I was also considering adding in normal batteries as well. But when I thought about it, it would be kind of pointless since we have amp batteries already in the game. So adding normal batteries in the game would just be really pointless. Unless they design it so that the moment a player activates it, everyone on the field gets a random battery dropped into the Titan and for them to get an extra shield just there and then. So if I activate it and I'm on the upside of the map and things are getting really hectic, all my teammates will get an extra shield. For for Monarch, a bit of energy to go to the next core ability. So I could see it working out if I do it with that method, but at the same time it's still kind of pointless. So what do you guys think about the small but reliable list of items that Respawn could add into the game? I think if they add some more things to the armory, even if it's not a lot, will allow players more tools to play around and create new tactics. Because it's kind of bad that the selection of items we have for frontier defense is really small considering that we're only going up, up against AI. While in the multiplayer, it's kind of understandable because it's a bit more easier to you know, adjust, either buff or nerf. In Frontier Defense though, it should be more, you should have all these tools to go with, but not all of them will be that good and reliable. And like I said, out of the current boosts we have for the armory, only two of those boosts there are situational at best. But all the rest, you can use them whenever you want. So that is the end of the video, I do hope you enjoyed it, if you did then by all means leave a like, a comment and subscribe for more. If you didn't then by all means leave a dislike, I'll understand and I know what to do in the nearby future. So once again guys thank you all for watching and I do hope to see you all again soon.